happy to welcome everybody here tonight. <coughs> On behalf of myself and <coughs> city council, we'll now hear the reading of the minutes, <coughs> approval of the minutes of the November council meeting. Grapevine City Council regular meeting, November 13, 2012. Council members present were Mayor George Pearson, Willie Shipper, Jimmy Moffitt, Michael Chapman, and Wanda Nichols. Concerned citizens were also present. The meeting was called to order by Mayor Pearson at 7 p.m. Mayor Pearson gave the invocation before leading the Pledge of Allegiance. Minutes from the October 9, 2012 meeting were approved as read. Mayor Pearson passed around the Grapevine PD activity <coughs> log for October to the council for review. Judge Bush gave the municipal court report. City Superintendent Michael Dillo gave the water and sewer report. The mayor gave the VFD EMS report in the absence of Roger Dickey. Dorothy Cook gave report for the Building and Standards Commission. Brandon Bridges was not present on behalf of the GEDC. Mayor Pearson presented FYI items. Michael Dillo discussed rates for after regular hour city services. He noted that a reconnect fee of $45 is already being charged. He further explained that his department will start having a city worker available on call after hours on a rotating week-to-week -week basis. No action was needed. A cost estimate by engineers for lowering water lines related to the street projects had not been completed. No action was needed. Wanda Nichols made a motion to accept the revised quarterly investment report of John Shell Investment Officer for the period ending September 30, 2012. Information indicated on the report that based on my review and in my opinion investment activities during the reporting period have conformed to mandated investment policy. Michael Chapman seconded the motion. Motion carried. The council discussed possible remedies for areas prone to flooding within the city. Willie Shepard made a motion which was seconded by Wanda Nichols to table action until further information was available. Motion carried. Willie Shepard made a motion to approve city holidays for 2013 as presented, noting that the holidays were the same as last year. Wanda Nichols seconded the motion. Motion carried. The motion was made by Wanda Nichols and seconded by Willie Shepard to approve payment of the current invoices. Motion carried. The council went into executive session at 7.47 p.m. The council was back in regular session at 8.09 p.m. Wanda Nichols made a motion to give Kyle Duren a leave of absence with pay for medical evaluation. Willie Shepard seconded the motion. Motion carried. Wanda Nichols made a motion to adjourn at 8.12 p.m. Willie Shepard seconded the motion. Motion carried. You've heard the reading of the minutes of our last meeting in the month of November. Uh, are there any corrections, omissions, deletions? If not, we don't have to vote on it, but if you'd like to vote on it, I don't mind voting on it. But the minutes can approve with red. Uh, now we'll hear our departmental reports. Judge, would you like to go first? Yes, I would. For the month of November, the total of revenue collected was $7,130.70. Total cases filed uh, were 62, and then we had total dispositions of 47 for the month. We have since this last few weeks gone through training and got a brand new computer system, so pray for us. Um, it's going to take a while to get used to it, but uh, I think it will improve the reports that we do to the state. It, it will, when I sign my name to it, I won't feel, I won't worry. Let me add, thank you, Joe. Let me add to a report for the last July, August, September, October, November. Uh, we've taken in $69,678. Uh, 33000 I mean, yeah, 33000 of that is credit card. So we see that our credit card program is paying for itself. And uh, we've also had a clear, I think we sent the state 26000 so far, which give us a clearance of 43000 plus. Thank you, Judge. Uh, next. I'll my... Yeah, Chief, come on. Um, you have the, the thing in there in your packet of our activities. Um, what's in all Kyle is back at work. He was returned last Saturday. He was with no restrictions. It's not in there. He passes it. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Um, are we going to go over the ordinance now? Well, or? let's, let's, that's laid on down. Okay. Yeah. 
We'll try to get you out of here as soon as possible. Okay. We got to get our order to get her lined up. Okay. Uh, who else? Roger's not here. Ray from Fire Department EMS Monthly Council Report, month of November 2012. Number of fire alarms for the month 11. Year to date total fire alarms 115. Alarm breakdown uh, one grass fire, one hazardous condition, one, four landing zones, two rescues, two smoke scares, and one structure fire. <clears throat> Number of EMS calls for the month 29. Unit 107, 16, 108, 13, year to date EMS calls 328. Any questions? Michael is not here tonight. He had another, uh, had made a prior arrangement for Monday night because he had set his calendar for Tuesday night being the council night, but it, you'll see attached in his, uh, in your folder <clears throat> his report, which is an excellent report, except for the 16th water main break on Old Crockett Road by the Houston County Water District and 16th uh, water main break by the city of Brakeland on Bank Street today, losing several uh, gallon losses of water. Uh, city of Grapeland, uh City Council Monitor Report, <clears throat> water well, 4,700,000 gallons, late zero, uh, total 4,700,000, water sold, 4,199,000, wastewater treated flow, 2,468,400 uh, gallons, daily average 82,280 gallons. <coughs> Excuse me. The lab analysis, you can see your CBOD, TSS, solids, uh, uh, NH3, N nitrogen, uh, DO, and your pH, phosphorus. Uh, they're all within the limits of uh, permitted limits <coughs> that's required by TCEQ. See there also water leaks. HCWID had a six-inch water, six water main break on Old Crockett Road affecting the New Salem area. You get complaints about the Old Crockett Road area. That's what happened. And today we had a 6 inch main break on Bank Street. Lost several gallons of water. Uh, he also mentioned here uh, the 2012 Bond Street project, phase one. Park Street is complete. South College Street is complete. South Main is complete. <clears throat> City Park Road is complete. Oak Street is complete. Peach Tree is, Street is complete. Pass Street is complete. Gregory's Circle is complete. Pull the last cones off this morning. And uh, Bank Street, construction underway. Asphalt will begin Thursday, 12, 13, 2012. And Lakeview, they're starting to milling. I think they did surveying over there. I don't know who live over there. Anybody? And uh, you, you see what the minute says here. Asphalt will begin by Monday, 12, 17, 2012. Contract is estimated to be complete with phase one of the 2012 street improvement project by 12, 21, 2012 weather permitted. <clears throat> now I think they made uh, great improvements to our city. Uh, you see, <coughs> excuse me, 2012 Bond Street Project Phase 2. These are some of the streets that we're going to look at and vote on tonight. And then he uh, gave indication <coughs> of the new employee. Now the question been asked, how come the council didn't vote on selecting an employee? As in the past, we have allowed the department head to select their individual. Now, a lot of people uh, ask questions about this, but let me tell you, in our TML manual, by rule, the mayor selects the chief of police. But I, my practice, and if you don't believe me, go with your TML manual and read it, but my practice has been that we sit down with the council and, and, and hire these individuals. Now, the council voted to hire a new individual. So I feel like we gave Michael the opportunity to hire somebody that can work with him. And he introduced him here tonight. As a new employee, we would like to welcome Mr. Mark Moore, the City of Grapevine, newest addition to Water and Wastewater Department. Mark was hired on 12-3-12. Uh, also in your packet tonight, some, uh, some of the council members have asked me about the employees' names. Now, we did have their phone numbers there, but they were personal phone numbers, and we, cut it. we, didn't, we didn't give them. If you want to get with those employees and ask them for their personal number, that's up to you. But I want to keep those confidential because the city of Grapevine was not providing them with cell phones. And you'll see the uh, police department, full-time, part-time, uh, reserves list in your packet also tonight. 
So I wanted to make sure that was presented so if, if there were any questions about that. Uh, that should be all the reports, right? Any questions?